Have you ever broken a bone or had major surgery? And did you notice how hard it was to perform everyday functions when one part of your body was out of commission? It's an important reminder that each part of the body has an important role to play if we're going to achieve maximum performance. And as strange as it sounds, it's the same with a family-owned business. We often think of a family-owned business as a single entity, but in reality, there are multiple components of it, much like parts of a body, that need to work together in order for that business and that family to achieve success. So why does this matter? It matters because family-owned businesses matter to the families that own them, to the employees that work in them, and to the American economy. Did you know that according to the US Census Bureau, family-owned businesses comprise more than 90% of all businesses in the United States? Furthermore, they account for about half of US employment and gross national product. And yet, many family-owned businesses struggle to survive into the second or third generation. One factor that contributes to family-owned business failures is when their leaders blur the line between the five essential components of a family-owned business. Before we discuss each of these five roles, it's important to point out that some people may play multiple roles while others may only perform one of these functions. For example, it's quite common that not every family member is an owner, and certainly not every employee is a family member. Meanwhile, some people may play up to four of those roles in any given time. It's critical to see these as separate roles that each perform an important function. It's also important to realize what hat you're wearing when you're making a specific decision. Are you acting in your capacity as an owner or as a board member or as the CEO of the company? Each of these roles has a different authority and responsibility, so it's important to understand what your role is at that time. Let's look now more specifically at each of these functions. So let's start with the family. It's really important that the family have a sense of unity and that consistent with their family's values, they create a shared purpose for the business and for the family. The owners or shareholders have the important role of electing the board of directors and articulating what their financial and stewardship expectations are as owners. So what about the board? Well, they provide governance for the company. Their most important job is hiring the chief executive officer, and ultimately they're responsible for exceeding the expectations of the shareholders. The CEO and executive leadership run the company day to day. They develop the strategy and ultimately try to achieve the goals of the board of directors. Finally, the employees, they accomplish the mission of the company by following the direction of executive leadership in accordance with the company's values. Much more can be said about each of these five functions in a family-owned business. But the keys to success that we've found include building high trust. We all know that having high trust is even more important than having good legal documents. Next is having clarity of authority for each level of the organization and similarly ensuring good communication across those functions. And finally, stewardship is a critical overarching principle that should permeate throughout the family and the business. And that stewardship allows the family and its business to accomplish great things, much like the parts of a body work together to accomplish their purpose. I love this quote from Billy Graham. The greatest legacy one can pass on to one's children and grandchildren is not money, but rather a legacy of character and faith. Thanks for watching. And let us know if you'd like to discuss how to more effectively steward your family's business.